Yo, I'm Matthew Kingpin. Been a bit, no? At least, if you're only aware of the Alexi B video. Today I'd like to talk about something that's been on my mind recently. Basically ever since the second week of April, honestly. What is a creative type to do? Not when your passions fade, but when the ever-shifting winds of time blow those passions askew of what you were originally enthusiastic about. It's a question I've been tossing and turning about in my headspace, trying to reason together an even remotely satisfactory response. Do I make a slapdash video, cynically capitalizing on a trend as an empty ploy to garner views? Yeah, sorry about that last one. Much as I stand behind the general idea of Valve isn't going to fix the problem, which I still with utmost certainty believe they will not, token trusted Overwatch partner haphazard band-aid fix be damned, that video wasn't presented well, and was certainly poorly thought out, rightfully deleted. Back on topic, I love Counter-Strike, but I am also intimately aware, in my heart, that love wanes and grows over time as my interests tend to do. Is this channel a Counter-Strike channel now, just because it's been the only point of discussion so far? Or is it a Matthew Kingpin channel, as in just a platform for me, myself, Maddington, Mattress, Maddie K, King Thing the first? Do I take a risk by following that blowing breeze of posting just where my passions happen to float towards, even at the risk of alienating the subscribers and audience I have garnered? It's a difficult question for a creative type to answer. Do I honestly believe myself charismatic enough? even just likable enough to be supported even in the vast, unknowable hell of creation that is the blind and uncharitable wild west of novelty? At least, that's what I thought for a while. I had to ask myself the difficult question of, who was I making these videos for? Was it for my fans, most of them unknowable, though very much still appreciated, faceless countenances in a crowd, privately present to consume the content before silently shifting back to their own existences, a participant in the processes of my creations in only the most passive and undetectable way? Was it for fame, just the raw adoration of those aforementioned faceless individuals? I did mean what I said in that Alexi B video, that I expected nothing to come out of this, for no one to ever notice me out of the endless sea of creative types haphazardly screaming into the void of white noise that is the ever-expanding chaotic cloud of content that is the internet. I had to remember why I made these videos at all. It was because I wanted to leave the purest evidence of my existence behind once my life was all said and done, whenever that happened to occur, much as my mind desires for it to be sooner rather than later. I make these videos for myself, and I make these videos for those closest to me who do care to see what I put out into the world and want to support and indulge in my particular brand of existence, however esoteric that brand of existence happens to be. So it became clear to me what I needed to do. I needed to continue working towards that goal, and in order to do so, I needed to inject as much of the essence of my being into my content as I could. And that is what the point of this video turned out to be. The answer to my question, what is a creative type to do? And ultimately, that's the point of my channel as a whole, which is acting as living proof of my existence. I love Counter-Strike. I love Counter-Strike. But I love other things too. Other games, other experiences. I want to talk about as much of it as I can with the time I have. I can't expect everyone to support my decision, and it's not even my desire for that to happen. It's up to me to do what I think is right, to only listen to my own conscience. After all, that's what most have told me is the best commodity I bring to this world. Doing the right thing. Being true to myself. So the next video will be about something. Whatever I happen to feel attached to at the time. Will it be about Helldivers 2 and how much I enjoy the game despite its many problems? Will it be about how much the cancellation and now permanently unresolved story of Deus Ex Mankind Divided makes me melancholic about not getting the resolution of a character I've grown to love in Adam Jensen? Perhaps neither, and perhaps both eventually. Maybe I'll talk about Counter-Strike 2 and how much I love the rise in power of the inconspicuously efficient electronic eliminator that is the Zeus X-27, my beloved little gremlin of destruction and eternal tilting, which they just freshly buffed to make even more so, insert devil emoji here. Maybe I'll just talk, like I'm doing now. It's my life after all. 
If you can't get behind what I desire to do with these productions, I hold no grudges and feel no ill will, though. In the words of Billy Joel, go ahead with your own life. I don't need a set guideline to create. I don't need a quota to fulfill. I don't need a reason to be. I can just be. And that's the solution I found to my question. So I'm just gonna create. I'm just going to be. That's about all I have to say for this production. I love making videos, being my own little brand of weird self and my own surreal space where things might not make sense to 99.99999% of people, but what matters is that they make sense to me. None of this is to say that I don't still want criticism and to hear feedback from the crowd and those that still stick around. I'm not oblivious to my capacity to make mistakes and boneheaded decisions, last video especially, or foolhardy enough to assume that I am incapable of improvement. I certainly am more than able to err, and also am more than able to build upon my current skill set and being. So point out whatever you'd like to do so, whether it be minor or major. It's ultimately up to my jurisdiction to take it into consideration or discard it. The burden of implementing the criticism is on me. I also enjoy reading nice comments too. Much as I want to make content to satisfy my own desire to, well, exist, it's greatly appreciated to hear words of praise as well. It's a brief light in my oftentimes supremely dismal and dark vision of the world. I'll spare you the exact details, but happiness is an emotion not one I frequently enjoy the company thereof. But anyway, as always, please give me any and all feedback you have, it is all read and appreciated deeply. Burn your dread, go into the future, and I'll meet you there. Oh, and P.S., just because I haven't brought you up lately doesn't mean you're off the hook, Kevin. Stop going AFK. I don't care if your pizza rolls dinged. You're throwing. And stop setting me on fire in Helldivers. I'm already flaming it up in real life. We still love you, though, big fella. post credit scene time. Flamethrower, Dr. D. Chip and chat. Flamethrower, all right. Don't Hell no. Fun, run. Run. <laughs> I, I don't think any of us should be allowed to use flame. It's Q3, based right? Off <laughs> oh. No, stop, <laughs> Tristan. You're setting me on fire. <laughs> Hold on. Get out of the Lisa al Qaib's way. <laughs> Dude, the range on this thing sucks, Ron. Get over here. The, the range is better in Vietnam, dude. This thing's terrible. <laughs> Man, can't have. Yeah, dude. This flamethrower is terrible. Detroit. Yeah, seriously. Ron, you're too quick with it. Come on. There you All go. Right. There you go. Now he's on fire. Still. Oh, come on. I caught myself on fire. Yeah. I just, I just killed myself. Did. I just killed no, myself. So we're not reviving him, huh? No, 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 no. <laughs> hey, Ron, should I shoot that bomb that's next to you? Oh, hell no. Stop. <laughs> you better Stop. dive. You better dive. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>